Scientists in the U.S. use animals to test drugs for safety and effectiveness before they can be approved for patients. But they hope that one day the use of animals could be reduced and the search for more customized treatments for patients made easier by testing drugs on lab-grown human tissue. Scientists at Duke University have now come a step closer to making that a reality. They say they've created the first lab-grown human skeletal muscles that contract in response to electrical and other stimuli. The muscle was created in a dish by first obtaining tiny muscle samples from human donors. The first step is to take a needle biopsy from either, for example, a shoulder of a person or a leg of a person. When we get this muscle biopsy, we can bring it to the lab and then uh, apply different enzymes, which are chemicals that will break this little piece of, of muscle into the single cells, muscle cells. In the next step, we use these muscle cells, we put them on a dish, and then we add different factors and make these cells proliferate, multiply, such that we can get a significant number of these cells, starting from, you know, uh, several thousands initially to several millions. We take these cells of a dish and then we put them in a jello-like, basically, substance. And this jello-like substance has nutrients and different proteins inside, which help cells to thrive inside this gel. Two weeks later, the scientists discovered the cells had become real muscle fibers inside the gel. They tested the muscles by sending electric pulses through them and adding a chemical that's secreted by the nerves when humans move. Each time, the muscles contracted just like regular muscles would. They also found that the lab tissue responded to different drugs, much like human muscles would. There are drugs such as caffeine, right? The one that when you drink coffee is, you know, applied to muscle, muscle contracts stronger. So when we applied caffeine, it did indeed contract it stronger. The lab muscles act much like human muscles, but they're not identical, the scientists say. A normal human muscle has neurons and capillaries that carry blood between muscle fibers, but the Duke scientists only recreated the fibers in this study. Human muscles have been grown in labs before. Of the three basic muscle types, cardiac, smooth, and skeletal, only skeletal muscles hadn't previously been made to respond like native tissue in a dish. The Duke University scientists say they now want to grow muscle tissue affected by specific muscle diseases to better understand those conditions and test more effective therapies.